What is going on everyone? So I'm sat inside of the 2021 Honda Odyssey minivan. A minivan, the one thing that most people don't really like to drive because of the image that it has. It's not as big, brawny, or cool as something like an Expedition, an Escalade, a Tahoe, um, you know, your Explorer, things like that. It just doesn't have that sort of appeal to it. And it's a shame that it doesn't because this, if I'm being completely honest, is really more practical than those vehicles in just about every single way. Now, granted, this can't tow as much. It doesn't really look as cool, but the features and just the things that this can do in terms of accommodating a family is almost unmatched. And in this review, we're going to cover every detail about this updated 2021 Honda Odyssey. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and check out the updated Honda Odyssey. Now, this minivan has for a long time been one of Honda's best vehicles. I think it's still one of the best vehicles that Honda sells because it just has everything you would want in a family vehicle. And I think that if I were to put my pride aside, I would really say this is a better choice over something like your traditional SUV. But let's go ahead and jump right into this specific car. So this is the Elite trim level. This is the most elite trim level you can get. So this is nearly $50,000. That's a lot of money, but arguably you can get so much out of this minivan that it could justify that price later on down the road. Now let's go ahead and talk about the changes made for this year model. And that's going to be right here at the front. So the front now falls in line a little bit more with what you see on like the Accord. So instead of the bar that goes down here flows into the Honda H, it's now going to just be at the top, sort of like a unibrow kind of looking thing, but it does make the overall front end look cleaner, a lot more horizontal lines, and I quite like what they did here because it does make the entire car look a little bit more cohesive, a lot more clean, especially in this white color. Now, you do have LED daytime running lights, which look really good. Um, it does make the car just have that slightly upscale feel to it, and then at night, full LEDs, and it looks really good. You have that same uh, LED light design that you have on like something the uh, on something like the Accord. Now, uh, as you come closer to the paint, this pearl white looks so good on this car. Here's a good look at it for you guys. And I mean, this color just looks great. Then as you come around to the side, you have these wheels here, which are new for this year model. Um, they do make it look a little bit sporty. Some may argue that it kind of looks a little bit off on a vehicle like this, uh, but I don't think they look too bad. And I think it does sort of add to uh, the slightly sporty look of this car. Now as you move back to the side profile, you can see all of the character lines here on this car. So you've got this one here, it's gonna flow there. You've got this faint one there, it's gonna flow back into the shoulder area, which looks pretty good. And then you've got your windows, which especially if you get them tinted, it looks really nice. And you've got that like floating roof design going right back here. It almost makes it look like it has like a fin or something like that. Now, as we move back to the rear quarter panel, uh, you are going to have an LED light signature back here as well. It looks pretty good. And at night, it just, you know it's a Honda Odyssey because it's had that same signature for a few years. So as we move back to the rear quarter panel area, uh, you do have this bar here in the back, which is going to be blacked out. I think it looks quite good. You guys can see that there. On Odyssey badge right there, and then your Elite badge located over here to the right side. Now, as we look under, you guys can see you've got your one exhaust outlet over there. So let's go ahead and see what this V6 sounds like. All right, you guys, here's your key for the Honda Odyssey. So you have your unlock, your lock, the buttons in the middle are to open both side doors. You have your remote start, your trunk release, and then your panic, and then on the back, you're gonna have your Honda symbol right there. Very nice key design, very sturdy. You can obviously use the key to get in, or you can use the buttons on the door. Hit that button to lock, and there's a touch pad right behind. You just stick your hand there, that's gonna unlock it. All right, you guys, so getting inside of 
the Honda Odyssey. Now, first of all, this is actually a really, really nice interior. I quite like what Honda has done here. And most of that is because of the material. So for example, if you come up here, really nice, just soft touch plastic right there. As you come down, you have more soft touch leather here and it's just really soft to the touch. You guys can see that there. And you're gonna have that same leather material located up here. You have this gloss black, which is going to go all the way to the door handle, which is even finished off in gloss black to sort of complete that look. You have your memory seat settings right there cubby space here more cubby space located down there speaker here hood pop obviously your seats and look at these mats how cool it's like a carpet you would get in like someone's house it's just a really cool design and then with this part here it's very low so you guys can see that so getting in and out is just effortless seating controls here your lumbar support located right back here I mean the, the seat material quality is super soft you've got this white piping plus the white stitching perforations running all through the middle of the seat looks very nice but let's go ahead and hop in and we'll check out the rest of the car all right let's go ahead and shut the door on the odyssey absolutely silent really solid door shut solid cabin and then to start your start stop button is going to be right there foot on the brake it's going to illuminate white for you and then as soon as you hit it it'll turn red and you've got this really cool startup for a minivan if you guys didn't catch the whole thing here's another look at it it is pretty cool okay so sitting behind the wheel of the honda odyssey now i've got a really good um just seating position here everything feels very spacious around me I've got this armrest which is pretty high up so I can rest my arm here and then I've got this armrest here which is good so I can just get pretty comfortable here and because there's no center area down here uh, I just feel like I have a lot of knee room and leg room to just spread out and breathe basically um, now coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is a really nice design steering wheel it looks good it's got all of your different areas to basically rest your hands at whenever you're driving you have your cruise control over here to the right you also have a heated steering wheel and you have a button here for your steering assist which works really well and I'll show you guys that later whenever we go on the drive and over on the left side you have your volume media commands and then you have your home button and the up and down to control the few things you can go through in the menu here in the middle now you can scroll through things like your navigation your trip monitor your settings uh, your music and you can basically mess around with the middle screen that's gonna be the only one that can go back and forth and do what it needs to do and then I just like the way the overall design looks it's just a really nice looking screen setup uh, now you do have paddle shifters right back here for your 10 speed auto and those work as well and I'll show you guys that once we go on the drive uh, obviously your standard things like automatic wipers which are going to come on the elite automatic lights and then your fog light is going to be the inside ring right here now over on the left side you guys can't see it over there so here's a b-roll clip of all of the buttons you have over here so you have your open and close for both outside doors you have your trunk release traction and then right below that you have your parking brake and then your brake hold now coming up you're going to have a pretty soft ish dash it's got a little bit of give but it's not quite as soft as some other vehicles it does have a slightly hard touch to it and then once you come back here it's just really hard touch you can hear that obviously uh, now coming to the head unit this is an upgraded head unit i think it looks great uh, my favorite thing about honda's head units are the colors the colors and just the resolution always looks really good on here you have apple carplay you have android auto all that good stuff but one of my favorite features especially if you're a parent i'm not a parent but i can only imagine how useful it could be for a parent is cabin watch so it shows you a really detailed view of not only the second row but the third row and on top of that I can hit this microphone button and it's gonna play my voice in the back and it'll also play my voice through the headphones if they have that on as well so here's what that sounds like stop hitting your brother stop hitting your brother stop hitting your brother stop hitting your brother <laughs> Okay, so moving on, uh, you do have things like dual zone climate control, so you guys can see I can go around through here, mess with my climate control there, two different settings. You do have ambient lighting, which you can kind of see under here, and at night it looks 
really cool, uh, very vivid. You can't change the colors though. I wish you could do that, but unfortunately you cannot. Now, one funny thing is, so coming right here, you've got all of this soft touch, like leatherette's gonna flow all the way across the dash. But over here, you have the same thing and it's hard plastic. So that's kind of a weird thing that I noticed. Uh, heated and cooled seats. So you guys can see that right there, three settings for each. And then you have your push button shifter here. I do like the fact that it's just right here in the middle. It looks really cool. I can hit drive, neutral, you have reverse, which pulls up your backup camera, which could be a little bit higher resolution, but you also have different camera angles, camera views. All right, everyone, I do want to apologize. So right at this point in the video, my microphone died. So there's still me talking, but there's no audio, unfortunately. Um, so just to go over the rest of the car briefly, um, it's a very nice interior. Obviously, it's very spacious. Um, as you move down, you are going to have things like a Blu-ray player, you have USB ports, you have uh, a house plug, a two-prong outlet right down there. You are going to have a really good amount of storage space. Um, you're going to have things like a wireless phone charger, and there's just lots of amenities in this Honda Odyssey that really make it feel upscale, advanced, and uh, it really does do lots on the inside to justify that expensive price point. Um, but one of my favorite things is definitely the fact that this has dual pane windows. So what that does is it really helps keep the interior a lot quieter and um, it really gives it just that serene feel on the inside, which is very nice when you're driving highway speeds. But let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Okay, so one of the cool parts about a minivan is this. So if there's a car parked right up against you, usually for the driver, I have to do this whole maneuver and squeeze in, but I would be worried more about my kids. And the cool part is that this opens straight back and it really only takes up like that much room. So you don't have to worry about your kids opening and closing the door, which if they're a little bit smaller, they may not have the strength to control how far that door goes, especially like on a windy day, for example. So that is an awesome feature. Now getting inside, it's very easy to close. So you're gonna have two buttons here that are gonna say open and close, or there's also a door handle right here on the inside I can pull that and the door is going to close right up for you. And it does have a feature where if it feels any resistance, it will open back up. So that's nice. So that way your hands, your kid's hands or anything won't get crushed in the door. Now you also have a shade here, which is great if you're using devices. If you have a baby and they have sensitive skin, it can just block out a little bit more of that sunlight, create a more cozy, uh, I guess, atmosphere back here. So that is real nice to have. Um, you're going to have obviously your window controls. You have a cup holder right here and then you just have a ton of room back here. So I'm six feet tall. My feet room is excellent. My knee room is great. This is where I was sat being six feet tall. Um, and there's just so much space. I've got these armrests here, which I can also recline my seat all the way back I can go forward and I can get really, really comfortable back here. Um, now you do have a good amount of amenities as well. So I do have a screen right back here. I've got some headphones in here. I can just throw these on. Got my remote right here and I'm ready to watch some TV. So as you guys saw up at the front, you have your Blu-ray player and I can just do that. And then once again, if you do turn on the cabin talk, there's no excuse for your kids not to hear you because your voice will play through these speakers, which is really nice and uh, can help you eliminate some excuses for sure. Now, in terms of map pockets, you actually have four. So you have two right here and then you have two up top, which I actually have my phone stowed in this top one. So that's pretty convenient. You've got your cup holders here, two USBs, an HDMI, which I wonder if you can plug in like a gaming system. I don't know, it could be kind of cool. So just to confirm, you can play your PlayStation in the Honda Odyssey. Uh, and then there's these seats. So I can move these seats towards each other if for some reason you want your kid to be more in the middle or if they're fighting, you can easily separate them far away from each other. So that's really nice. And then coming up here, you do have a grab handle, an area to hang like clothes. If little Timmy has a recital, you can put his nice shirt up here. Uh, you are going to have your climate adjustments and things like that up here as well. And it's just a very comfortable place to be. Being a minivan, it's extremely spacious. So let's go ahead and check out the third row. Okay, now getting into the third row, you have a few options. So I can pull this on the side, scoot it forwards. Or if you need a little bit more space, you can also pull this here and it goes forward just a little bit more and it will lean up. So you can actually basically take this seat out uh, which will give you just this insane amount of loading space. Now, the easiest way for me personally is using the handle here. I can just pull that, scoot the seat 
all the way to the middle and then I have all of this room to get into the back. So once I hop into the back here, I've got a good amount of room. Um, now you do have two cup holders for each side. I am gonna have a USB back here, a headphone jack. I even have, if you guys can see this over here, my own sunscreen shade for the third row. How crazy is that? And now obviously you have vents back here to keep everyone nice and cold. They're big vents too, so that is very nice. And I've got a good amount of room. So this is where I was sat. I can pretty much like cross my legs back here. How, how crazy is that? There's not a lot of three row SUVs that I can do that in. And my feet room is great too. So it's not like my feet are shoved underneath the back of this seat. And I can still recline the seat just a little bit more if I choose to do that as well. So very practical, but let's go ahead and check out the trunk space. Okay, so coming to the back of the Honda Odyssey. Now, first of all, when you lift up the tailgate, it doesn't go very high. So me being six feet tall with my tall hair, it does kind of hit a little bit. Uh, I do wish it went a little bit higher, but remember it's not an SUV, so it does sit a little bit lower, meaning that the hatch won't go as high, unfortunately. Now, once you come back here, you have a ton of room, and as you guys can see, little Timmy made a mess, which is pretty common in a minivan, but this has a built-in vacuum cleaner. And I mean, the suction is pretty, it's pretty powerful, which is crazy. So it just sucks this right up. And for three payments of $8.99, this can be all yours. I'm just kidding. It sounds like an infomercial, but, uh, but it's super cool to have this in your car. It's just super convenient. Um, the only thing is that it's in the back. So if you have messes up in the front, you do have to reach this. But I mean, the cable reaches like, look at that. That is so long. So this can definitely stretch nearly the length of your Honda Odyssey minivan. And then you just kind of fold it up, stick it right back here in the side, just like this. Make sure the end piece is off, folds right up. And there you go. So that's single-handedly one of the coolest things about this minivan for sure. Um, you also have an extra cubby over here and the seats, you can do one of two things. So I can fold it down just like that, or you just pull it a little bit harder and the whole thing will basically come back just like that. And then you have a completely flat loading floor at that point. And I can pretty much stick anything I want back there. You can stick a whole dryer in a box back there. It's massive. So. Once again, proving that minivans are extremely practical and though they're not the most attractive to drive, there's almost no arguments against this in terms of being a practical machine. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the back trunk storage area. Let's go ahead and see what's under the hood. All right, you guys, so coming into the hood of the Honda Odyssey, here's the most incredible part about this minivan. You have a 3.5 liter VTEC V6 engine underneath this thing. This engine absolutely screams, which is just hilariously awesome for a minivan. So this makes 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. That is only going to go to the front wheels, which is the downside um, because over across the seas, you can get this in all-wheel drive, which we don't get here in the US, uh, but it is hooked up to a 10-speed automatic, which is a Honda-developed 10-speed unit. Works very well and uh, you guys can see the MPG here on the screen. So let's go ahead and get this on the road and see how it drives. All right, you guys, so driving the Honda Odyssey. Now, there are a few cool things to note about minivans. Now, compared to something like an SUV, minivans sit lower, so they just naturally have a lower center of gravity, and that really comes into play when you're driving this. Behind the wheel, this is actually a pretty agile vehicle. It doesn't feel as big as it is, which is always a plus. And if you floor it, it's got a good amount of go to it. Now, this does have VTEC, and then once you get past 5,000 RPM, you can really hear everything just open up and it sounds super, super cool. And I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But you have a few different driving modes on here. You've got your econ mode, and then you have your normal mode. And then if you hit drive again, that'll put you into like a sport mode, but it's really just putting the transmission into a sportier shift pattern. Um, other than that, you've got your start stop, which turned on right now. And it is nice because it tells you to keep a consistent pressure on the brake or else it will interrupt the start stop. Uh, you know, everything's pretty easy to reach. It's very comfortable to drive, and overall, it's just a really good, 
good vehicle. Um, I like the space you have in here. The visibility is excellent, obviously. But let's go ahead and see what this is like when you really get on it. So I'm gonna throw it into the sport setting and uh, we're just gonna mat it. So three, two, one. <laughs> it sounds pretty good. It sounds really good, actually. And yeah, if you're a Honda fan, if you're a VTEC fan, you're gonna love driving this thing. Um, it, it really does drive surprisingly well, which is pretty hilarious. But, uh, and things like the steering feel are actually pretty decent. Uh, it's not great or it's not anything you would rave about, but it just has a fluid feel to it. The entire car feels just absolutely easy easy to drive. The seating position is pretty great. You can get very comfortable. I love the armrests. It really just feels like you're driving like a living room on wheels. It's, it's really a nice place to be. I quite like it a lot. So now other things to note are fuel economy. So it's really just been me, my wife, and then my buddy Kaido here. And I've been averaging about 17 miles per gallon. So this is not by any means a fuel efficient vehicle. And then if you have a big family and you fill this up with people oh man you're probably getting anywhere from 13 to 14 if I were to guess so fuel efficiency definitely is not the strong point here and I think that will be exciting whenever Toyota comes out with the hybrid Sienna that's just going to help a lot and especially if you are using this as your daily it would be nice to have something that's a little bit more fuel efficient so I am gonna slightly knock that but then again it's a V6 Honda VTEC engine so you know it's going to last forever um, and that's a big thing to consider as well now other than that that's pretty much gonna wrap up driving impressions I do want to admit it's very quiet so because of those double pane windows that I showed you guys earlier it does keep everything in here very very quiet so that is really nice but let's go ahead and wrap up this review well, everyone, that's going to wrap up my review of the updated Honda Odyssey. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is a really good vehicle. I'm excited to see what Toyota can do when they come out with the brand new Sienna. But as of right now, I think this stands as the king in the minivan segment. It has so many features. It rides incredibly well. It's super spacious and it has VTEC. I mean, if you're a Honda fan, that's one of the best things ever you can ask for in a big family vehicle like this. But if you guys are new to the channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Hit the red subscribe button, hit the bell so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you guys in the next review.